hello this is video number one of our GIS map practical lesson my name is Umar Yusuf I'm the presenter of this video series I'm going to introduce the basic concept of GIS or GIT to students in Nigerian African higher institutions in this lab practice video series we are going to learn the following GIS basic techniques using quantum GIS software. So in the next video, I will show you how to get the quantum GIS software and install it on your personal computer. But for now, here are the techniques we are going to learn in this video series. The first is we are going to take a look at how to install the quantum GIS software and then the next video will be the user interface of the quantum GIS software. Next is setting projection and coordinate reference system in quantum GIS application. Then identifying GIS files, that is shape files. Then adding comma separated variable data files in our quantum GIS application. Then adding raster data in quantum GIS. Then later on, we will also georeference raster data in our quantum GIS. After which, we are going to learn how to create shape files. That is point, line, and polygon shape files. And adding or creating attribute data in our quantum GIS. Then we'll also learn how to digitize our raster data and add attribute data in the quantum GIS. Subsequently, we will learn how to add attribute data to vector layer in quantum GIS. Then we will learn how to carry out basic, basic query analysis in our quantum GIS application. We will also learn, we, we, we will also learn how to compose or prepare maps in the quantum GIS application. Then we are going to prepare soft and hard copy maps output in quantum GIS. Then the last but not the least will be the screen printout of query results using our quantum GIS application. So till then, I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching this. Have a nice day.